Before we do anything else, let's get quickly acquainted with the transport controls. These are the controls that allow you to move around within your projects and allow you to play the parts of your songs that you want to hear when you want to hear them. Hitting play will begin playing your song from wherever this white play headline is located. If you've used iTunes or another media player, the keyboard shortcut for play is likely the same, it's the spacebar. And of course spacebar will also pause playback. To move the playhead around you can click in the lower half of this ruler at the top. It's called the bar ruler because by default these numbers show the number of musical bars you are into your song. Note that clicking in the top half of this bar won't do anything, you have to click in the bottom half. You can also quickly play from a certain location by double clicking in the bar ruler. You can also move around by clicking the fast forward or rewind buttons. These will advance you to the next or previous bar line each time you click. This is useful if you want to quickly and precisely move to the start of a particular bar. I almost never use these buttons though, instead I use the keyboard shortcuts. You can hit the period or full stop button to go forwards and the comma to go backwards. You can hit stop to go all the way back to the beginning of the song, but that can also be achieved by hitting the enter key. Before we move on, there's one more useful control that I want to look at. It's called the cycle control and it allows you to loop any section of your song indefinitely. That can be useful if you're adjusting plugins or maybe making edits that affect only a small part of the song. To activate a cycle, you just click and drag from left to right in the top half of the bar ruler. A pair of green arrows will designate an area to cycle, and these are called the locators. Now if you hit play, the playhead will jump to the start of the cycle and begin playing that area as a loop. You can adjust the cycle area by dragging one or the other of the locators. You can quickly enable and disable your cycle by hitting the keyboard shortcut C, or of course just by hitting the cycle button in the transport. Note that if you drag from right to left in the bar ruler, you'll get a different set of locators. Any area within these will be skipped when the playhead reaches it. This can be useful to audition what it might be like if you remove a certain section from your song. Or you could use it to trial alternative sections. Simply program or record two different sections, one after the other then skip one section or the other to test which works best as the next part of your song. So that wraps up our look at the transport controls. Next we're going to have a quick look at key commands before moving on to look at tracks and channel strips. <laughs>